A hectare is 100 by 100. A lima is 50 by 50. An acre is 70 by 70. But do you know why? If you fail mathematics, you cannot be admitted to the College of Agriculture. The reason is very simple. There are a lot of calculations involved in agriculture. Today, I thought of looking at something up close and taking it so personal. Hi, I'm the mad farmer from Chipangari district, deep down in the bush of Eastern Province. Welcome to my videos. Like I always say, my videos are centers on agriculture, be it animal or crop production. Like I always say, I'm not a professional man, but I'm somebody who has a passion for agriculture because agriculture is my business. Okay, let's look at something today. Last time, we looked at how to achieve 10 to 11 tons per month, uh, 10 to 11 tons per hectare. Today, we are also going to look at, we are still going to look at 10 to 11 tons per hectare, part two. Today, as you can see, I've come prepared. I've got a pen, I've got a piece of paper, and then I've got a calculator so that we look at these things critically and then we do the maths together so that we come out with what we want. Okay, first things first. Most people always ask, uh, they always ask, they want to find out how many bags of fertilizer they can put in a, 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 in an acre. Some who ask, how many bags of fertilizer do we need in a hectare? Well, today, let's do the mathematics together so that we achieve that 11 tons, 10 tons, or let me say 200 bags of maize per hectare. Let's do this. Let's look at a hectare. A hectare is 100 by 100. And then with maize, the spacing between stations should be 15 centimeters. And then in rows, in between rows, it should be 90 centimeters. Meaning that, let's do the, market, the, the calculations now, meaning that um, 15 centimeters is equal to 666. Okay, which means 666 stations per line. Okay, 666 centimeters, I mean 666 uh, stations per line. Okay, that is one line. Okay, now, since we said that it is 90 centimeters in the row, meaning that we are going to have um, 111 lines. 111 lines. Okay, so um, let's hope we are together here. We have got 666 stations per plant. 666 stations per line. Okay, and then we've got 111 lines because the measurement is 90 centimeters. Okay, so now we need to find out how many, what's the population like that? Because in, in, in agriculture, it's about plant populations. So we need to find out how many plants we are going to have per hectare. Okay, because most people who just talk, no one acre, one acre, one hectare, so we need to get practical and then find out where we go wrong. Because most people have complained on, I failed to achieve 200 bags per, per, per hectare. So, like we said, in a line, there are 666 stations per line. And then we've got 111 lines. So for us to know the plant population, we need to do the multiplications. That's how the mathematics comes in. When I was saying, if you fail mathematics, then forget about agriculture. Okay, now we need to do the multiplications. Okay, if you do uh, 666 times uh, 111 lines, is going to give us 73,926 plants. Okay, so 73,926 73, plants in a hectare. In one hectare, for you to achieve something, you should have a plant population of 55,000 going up, then you are woman dry. 55,000 and above, you are woman dry. Anything less? No. 
And then other problem I've discovered is instead of people measuring, using the measuring tape to measure, they use footsteps. But well, some people are tall, some people are short. So how do you go about that? So now we've got 20, 73,926 plants as plant population in a hectare. So now in maize, one maize should be supposed to receive five grams of D and five grams of urea, making it 10 grams per plant. So now what we are going to do is we are going to look at D only. Okay, D only. So now how many, how many, uh, how many five grams are there in, how many grams, we, we, I mean, we need to multiply now. What we need to do is we need to multiply the plants because we said per plant we need five grams of D, that is per plant. So now since we've got 73,926 plants, so we need to multiply by five grams for us to know the amount of fertilizer needed in one hectare. Okay, so now when we multiply 73,926 times five grams per plant, it is going to give us 369,630. These are grams of fertilizer. Now, we are not using calculating in grams in as far as fertilizer and vaccine. We need to convert this into kgs. Okay, so in 50 kgs, in 50 kgs, we are talking of 50,000 grams. In 50 kgs, in 50,000 grams. So what we are going to do is we are going to get the 50,000, which are grams, into because these are the number of plants. These are the number of grams, my five grams, in, in 50 kgs. Okay, so what we are going to divide 50,000 grams into 369,630, which is going to give us 7.4, meaning that we need seven bags, seven and a half bags of D compound to put as basal, as D. Okay, so having said that, meaning that we are going to need uh, seven bags and half of D and seven bags and half of urea. Okay, now the total number of bags we need are going to be 15. So I wouldn't be wrong to say that for you to achieve the 200 bags of maize in one hectare, you need 15 bags of fertilizer. Somebody may ask, why is it that in an acre we, we use four bags, which means two D, two urea? It's very simple. Okay, in, in a 10 kg, I think we should move away from the idea of calculating the land and then go to the seed. Because a seed, a 10 kg, will give you an acre. So, how many plant, what's the plant population in a 10 kg? In a 10 kg, there are 20,000 cannibals, meaning that you have a plant population of 20,000. So, if you do your math correctly, you will discover that. In, in a 10 kg, it's exactly two bags of D and two bags of urea. So that's how we come about this. So what I'm trying to say is for those who want to grow maize, please, your budget should be around 15 bags per hectare if you want to achieve the 200 bags. Because the idea, the idea is to have more maize. Forget about the land. Okay. Forget that we've done the measurements. It's 15, it's 15 centimeters per gram, I mean, per plant, per plant station. Uh, and then in between the rows, it's supposed to be 90. And then that's how we came to 73,000 as um, our plant populations. So, and then another thing, okay, we are done with the fertilizer. So 15 bags of fertilizer per hectare. So let's get back to maize. Then what determines the yields again is the quality of fertilizer, I mean, it's the quality of seed you use. One thing you need to know that the, the late maturity, the late maturity will always give you the best yields. The, the late maturity will always give you the best yields. And the, which region would I recommend to plant the late maturity? That's the region one I always talk about. The Kasamas there, Wapula, part of Mchinga, the Copper Belt, and Sulawesi, Northwestern, somewhere up there. You guys, you need to look at, you need to consider planting the late maturity. How do you know that this is late maturity? It's very, very simple. All the seven series are late maturity. Now, let's look at the region, uh, the second best. 
Okay, the second best are the medium maturity. How do you know that these are medium maturity? Medium maturity starts with the number six. For example, Advanta would come as Advanta ADV 687. Okay, 603. Those are medium. So those are second best. So if your region doesn't receive too much rainfall, it's better you go for medium. These regions, I'm talking about regions in Eastern Province, uh, parts of Lusaka, parts of Central Province, and then the Northern parts of, uh, of Southern Province. You guys, I highly recommend that you use medium maturity. Yes, medium maturity. If you don't know where to find these things, you can always get in touch with me. I can always direct you where to, but my job is just to guide you and then make sure that you achieve what you want. I always discourage any maturity because it doesn't do good. I mean, it doesn't do well. It might do well, but you will not achieve. You will not achieve the required 200 bags per hectare. So consider these things unless you are very late, and then that's when you can part the early. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember to share this video, or if you missed these other videos, go on my YouTube channel, Mad Farmer Kapwata. Search for it, subscribe. Then, so that each time I post a new video, you'll be able to get it. Or, if you are using, you're watching this video using small scale farmers, please press the search button of my name, and then all my videos will come. And then, you can choose the video you want. Meantime, I'm your mad farmer. Thank you so much for watching my videos. My numbers are still the same. 0977-851196. 0977-851196. Or 0966-987051. 0966-987051. Please share this video, post all your comments, all your comments in the comments so that I can read them and then I can do what you want me to do and help out. My job is very simple to share. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.